Hey guys and welcome back to another No Man's Sky Orbital stream. So we had the Orbital update, we restarted our character, we restarted everything, so if you want to see it all being done from scratch, you can start with the first stream. We got very lucky that one of the first missions we got uh, brought us to a planet where we had a lot of crashed sentinels, so we were able to find very easily quite a lot of crashed ships. And I went out of my way since the last stream to actually collect more crashed ships, but they're all the same type. So it seems that once you have a system with multiple planets where you can find those sentinel ships, they all are the same type, unless they're just very rare. So I, I have some more that I have in my inventory, so I can show them to you. We're gonna sell them now. And um, yeah, so welcome to the stream. And um, oh, that is a solar, is it a solar one? Solar one, B class, seven million. Yeah, we can't build those custom ships. Also, I have enough parts, uh, parts to build a custom ship. I have the three parts that we need. So, well, four, I need to buy one, which I think I have enough nanites for now. So what I've been doing is basically just um, trying to find those sonar, uh, solar, ch sonar chips, ships, and we actually have quite a few now. I had to rename this one so I don't get it mixed up with uh, the ones that I have that look exactly the same that I want to sell. And the same for the multi-tools. I actually have a few multi-tools that look the same, so I had to rename one uh, because that's the one I'm cleaning out and I'm keeping one of those Sentinel multi-tools. This is the three parts. Now, the great thing is I was worried about the wings that when it says left or right wing, you, you get a left wing and a right wing. You don't. Basically, you just get one wing. Yeah, that's all it is. So that's why they say left or right wing. So I can put this wing left or right. That's completely up to me. But I only have one. So. <laughs> and um, what we're going to do now is we're going to try our uh, luck on doing a crazy ship before we're going to continue on the main quest, which I continue, uh, already uh, continued a little bit um, on. And we are now at the part where Artemis uh, introduced us to Apollo and Apollo is now telling us we need to expand our base to be able to help better. Um, I already got the suit here on the station and oh, what do they have here? Is that a, an S class or A class? Or oh, it's a C. Okay. What is this? Mm, that's a B, but yeah, whatever. So um, yeah, let's do it. Oh, what is that? Is that another? There's a lot of solar, solar ships coming in here. Actually, it looks pretty boss. I like the way they look. Oh, we also need to get rid of one of the gag things. Let me see. Let me give you that so I can make some space. There you go. Thank you. And yeah, let's sell sh sell some sh some ships first. So, oh, by the way, I missed out on a freighter. I the, just before I finished grinding uh, before the stream, I did the whole combat thing with a freighter i landed on the freighter but i didn't have time to talk to the to the captain because i had to leave and um but i saved the game it had an auto save and i was like oh cool i get back to it but when i loaded back in i just loaded back in space i was not in the freighter so i missed another opportunity of getting a freighter it was only a c-class so i'm not really too worried about it i think until you accept one you keep getting the chance of getting that encounter over and over anyway but because I killed a lot of um, pirates in that process, I got a lot of those pirates transponders, which is actually something we can use to upgrade our reputation with the guild, which apparently is something that is really important, which I didn't realize. And that is only in this orbital update as far as I know. So um, I hope you guys are excited. Biggles, how are you? Welcome to stream Night Reaper, and we're back with discounted Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Lovey Kicks, thank you so much, Night Reaper. Uh, Kona, how are you? Thank you for the super chat. I hope you're doing well. Hey, Games, how are you doing? I'm doing absolutely fine. Thank you. I hope you're doing well with yourself. Um, sell shells by the seashore. I have a feeling you just wanted me to say that. <laughs> so there is a guy over here. Yeah? Which... Um, you basically get items from and if you actually look yeah the list of items is different every time you go somewhere else but the guild they're part of is um i think always the same no matter which station you go i don't know if the guild is different between different races but this one says mercenary guild 
So I guess they're all mercenary guilds, yeah? So you level up the mercenary guild by um, redeem donating items. And you can see I have three, I have actually seven pirate transponders. So I don't know, I can only donate three, so then we have to reload, I guess, yeah. So you can also give them sal salvaged glass, quad servos, crystallite hearts, uh, hard frame engines, walker brain. But the reason you want to get your reputation up with them is because I saw on one of them, and I don't know if it's random, as in I can reload this guy over and over and he gives me random things. I saw a, for a ship, for, for a, an I you know, the, the storage expansion. And it's basically costing only um, whatever units, I think, yeah? Or uh, some of them are even free, like you can see here. So what I wanna do now is just get the reputation up. So we're gonna donate those three. And that, now we initiate, as you can see here, yeah? And I can now actually get for free ammunition, 2,500. That is awesome. Boom, there we go. This is so sweet. So even if I wouldn't use it, if I would sell it, there would be 2,000 units, which is not the end of it, which is not the, the, the most new world. But, oh my God, look at those wings. Oh, but that is a lot of money. So let me just do a save and then we're gonna reload and see if we can sell more. Um, Kona, thank you for another super shot. You're amazing. I might be coming into your world. If you absolutely just um, if you're in my party, don't take it personally if I ignore uh, that you're there because I want to focus on doing my things. But you can absolutely come into the world, do whatever you want. Um, that's absolutely fine. Uh, that that's great. Um, the only thing I ask for anybody who's joining. Um, is that don't don't drop me things or anything for now because I want to kind of earn my own thing in the moment and do my figure out the things again by myself but uh, you know once we get to a certain point yeah if of course if you have like a hundred living ships uh, and you want to throw me one I'm not gonna say no but right now I'm at the stage where I just want to you know do the hard work myself a little bit so um, but I appreciate anybody wanting to um, you know offer obviously so uh, let me see if we're gonna go into here and then we're gonna do a hard save a restore point and then we're gonna reload the restore point and see if the vendor resets hard restore point yes Tommy how you doing I hope you're doing well as in we are currently again in the downdraft. I'm not sure. Uh, you finished Dragon's Dogma 2. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue Dragon's Dogma much, much longer because I just don't. I, I find it interesting in a lot of ways, but there's a lot of the stuff in the game that bothers me. Uh, the, the performance in the town actually bothers me a lot, seeing that a lot of the quests in town like happen in town. And it, it is extremely distracting to constantly see frames jumping down to 25 on a 40 80 that is just so distracting because you can see the stutters like you know it is very bad so um let me see is there somebody popping in to my network sorry in the moment i think i have multiplayer disabled so let me enable it and i have to enable cross play as well i believe oh i might only be able to do that from the main menu the cross play part so um Oh, you're already in the group. Great. Oh, yeah, I don't need multiplayer enabled because friends can always join my group. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. So um, that's great. I don't need to worry about it then. And yeah, there, you're, you're in the group. That's great. So let's talk to him again. Um, no problems, games. Thank you, Kona. Uh, thank you again. Uh, go look at the price of living eggs in the Nexus and tell me you want to grind for it. Probably not. But this is why I'm saying once I get to a certain point, I'm probably not going to have an issue with it. So his his selling reset and his donation reset as well. That is brilliant. So we're going to donate another three. Now we apprentice and we can buy. Uh, oh, actually, for free, we get one plasma. Oh, OK. So how much ammo can I get into one slot? Oh, wow. That's probably until 9,999. That is awesome. I'm not going to have to worry about ammunition for a while. So, um, and do you still have the same items? Let me see. Yeah, you still have the same items. A sentinel boundary map for free. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, and this is just units, actually. It's not nanites. So that's pretty cheap then as well. Oh, this is nanites, though, of course. Yeah. 
But look how cheap it is. 200 for Nana, it's for an S um, upgrade. That is pretty sweet. Okay, we have to do one more save and reload, and then we can trade in the last one. And then we can look at building the most ugliest explorer ship because the reason it's going to be an explorer ship is because explorers right now are the cheapest ones to buy that you can um, do custom builds with. They only cost two, three million, sometimes four million, and that's all I had to spend so far on them. And uh, so I spent all my money, but we have uh, ships to sell. I have two extra ships that are C-Class that look like that, that are 20 odd million each, I think, or 16 million to sell. So um, that means we have another 32 million coming in. Um, Ethereal, how are you, h Welcome to stream. How are we doing well? So let's see, same list, probably. Yeah, same list. And, oh, that didn't, okay. That didn't reload. So there is a daily maximum, probably. No, hang on. Unless the reload didn't really work. Okay, what about in you save while in multiple? Oh, okay, I didn't know. Oh, okay, so that that is. Yeah, so you might have to rejoin again. Sorry about that. Uh, that's why it didn't work. <laughs> and then we won't be doing any more reloading. So Kona, you're safe to join again. Sorry. Um, I didn't realize that was uh, when somebody's in your group that they kick you out. I'm sorry. So you can jump back in. Uh, I I'm, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I shouldn't have to do that again now. So um, Because that was just so we can actually get rid of all seven... I suppose the alternative would have been to quickly teleport uh, to a diff to a planet and back, but that usually takes longer than reloading, I think. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get that, and we're gonna get that again. Donate. There we go, we have one left. And now we're still apprentice. Excellent. Okay, so we're gonna be keeping that in mind and keep giving the items to those guys. So there's the mercenary guild. Um, I actually don't know how many guilds is there. Um, there's a few, I think. I'm not sure. Okay, so now let's switch ship and let's sell the ships. So if you look here, you can see that this is my original one, which I'm obviously not gonna sell. Um, these ones here, Atlas Fires, uh, they actually named the same thing every time, which is confusing because when you find them, they're called Hope or Re something, yeah? and. No, I don't buy it. It's free. It's free. It, it was a free from the mercenary guild. Biggles falling asleep to the sweet tone of Kix's voice. And as the man crossed the road, he could see through the window that she was up to no good. She was a cheating whore after all. He always knew it before he married her. That's what he liked. Her. Um, okay, sorry, I don't know. I can't make up any more random shit, so you have to fall asleep without that now. Um, so... Let's see, so we're gonna analyze the ship. Oh, no, 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 that's my current ship. Holy balls, dude. I summoned it and I didn't... What? Hang on a second, did I not summon it? Oh my god, is that the glitch? Is that the glitch? Oh, this is amazing. That glitch still works. That is absolutely phenomenal if that actually still works. So basically what happens is, yeah, when you switch ship, it remembers the value of that ship that you loaded into the game with. Oh no, that's stinking butt munch still. Hang on, but it's not loaded. Why is it here? Ah, oh, no, no, hang on a second. But there is a glitch with that as well, because I remember upgrading a ship and it didn't get the value, and it works in the reverse as well. So hang on. No, there we go. Okay, so let me summon that. Okay. So that's now the ship summoned. I didn't summon it earlier. But there is a glitch with the value, at least in the other way around, because I had it happen before that um, I upgraded my ship, and it had the same value after I put in two or three... Um, 
expansion slots in it. And only when I reloaded the game with the reset point, with the hard save, did the value increase. So I wonder if that works in the reverse now as well. No, it's it stays that. Okay. Whew. I, I was worried there for a second that I accidentally would scrub my ship. Um, I upgraded my original ship to S rank and got a full S rank upgrade for everything. Oh, that's an awesome. That's awesome. That is pretty sweet, actually. That costs a lot of money, isn't it? 70 million or something. Um, hey, Kicks and Chat Almighty, how are you? Claim scrap worth. Yeah, so we, that's 18 million. Oh, inventory full. What? My inventory isn't full. Oh, okay. Let me sell these. And I think the problem is that there's some things which can be um, demolished. Is it? No. For some reason, it thinks. Okay, sometimes it gives you like only one or two items. Okay, fair enough. So let me sell the. go um, this is only 16 nanites I don't want it um, it, it was one uh, that I replaced 300 suspicious so these are the one from the uh, pirates uh, things that you get dropped and then you open them up and they have a chance of giving you these which is pretty cool way of getting nanites so let me see dismantle okay that one can't dismantle can't dismantle can't dismantle okay good Now we should be able to have enough space to salvage. Well, we should, because it doesn't give you a lot of items. Excellent. Okay. Did we get an upgrade? No, we didn't get an upgrade. Um, oh, we did! Oof. Yes! Awesome. We're going to keep that. And this one we're going to sell. That is awesome. Okay. Um, that's awesome, yeah. I, lo I love S-rank ships when you get... Especially if you can upgrade them yourself. Buying is easy, but when you actually do some hard work and then upgrade your ship, I find that very rewarding. Uh, that is not the selling terminal. Okay. So... Let me see. So this is actually worth 90,000 as well. We get free ones as well with the guy. Here we go. Excellent. That's it. Oh, there we go. Excellent. So there we go. We got the 18 million. Um, Koda was a super chat. It's even more expensive giving now the old trick for using the portal refiner and no longer works. They patched that glitch. Oh, I can still duplicate items with my refiner. I can still duplicate items. I tried it yesterday. I was going to show you guys that today, that it still works. Yeah. Um, I don't know what you mean by dead game. It's pretty much a single player game that you can that you can play multiplayer. It's so dead probably doesn't apply. But um, it gets an update every three months or six months, something like that. They have expeditions, which are released uh, a few times a year. So it, it continuously gets free updates, and but full free expansions with new mechanics. So you should have a look at their Steam page and go through all their updates. They have the Orbital update was the most recent. Then before that, they had an Interceptor update. Then I don't know if it's in the right order. Then um, they had um, the Sentinel updates, they had the out, they had shit tons of updates. So you just have a look through all the updates on the Steam page that they released and they're all free, you know, so. Um, like, like, yeah, okay, let's get to the other ship. Oh, and um, there we go, that's the other ship. And now we're gonna sell this to make room because I have not a lot of room. So yeah, dead doesn't apply probably uh, in that at all. Um, uh, thank you, Kona. Then the portal refiner glitch only works with S rank upgrades because you can't put them into the portal refiner anymore. Oh yeah, if, if things you can't put into the refiner, yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's obviously that. Yeah, 
that that won't work. So this is the two ships that I found. Um, and I actually found them accidentally. I was working on a quest. And, um, oh, select desired operations. Destroy highway scrap metal or harvest. No, yeah. That's not my ship now, is it? No, this is Atlas Fire, okay. Actually, let me dismantle that. So this is also a C-Class, so how come this was more expensive? It's probably because it had more slots unlocked, so we get more money for it, is that it? Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna say no to it, obviously. And did we get another component for upgrading? Yes, we do. This is amazing. Storage augmentations are so much easier to get now. We usually had to uh, scrap S. Maybe it's because they're interceptors. We get it every time. I don't know. I haven't really scrapped a lot of non-interceptors in the moment. Um, so let's uh, again sell the loot to get our money. Sunny, you're all excited. Come on, get up there. When mommy comes home with the girls, you can come out. Um, thank you, Connor. Uh, you used to be able to put anything into the portal refiner. Oh, okay. I actually didn't know about this glitch until this update. <laughs> because I never needed it for things like, you know, but um, that is really cool, actually. So let's sell this. I have to pay attention. Sell this. And don't sell the upgrades. Did we sell everything? There's no more items left. Okay. And then we want to get the nanites out of the way. Also, we want to swap back to our action ship, the, stinky, the stinging butt munch. Hey, Hidden Truth, how are you? Now, you're gonna have to stop with the super chats, Kona, because you're single handedly keeping this channel alive at this stage. <laughs> it's like my wife drinking Diet Coke. She's the only reason why, why Coca Cola is still in business. Um, there we go, nice. It's only 63, but it is it's it is what it is. So, I have upgrades here. I, I'm not gonna go duplicate them, that's fine. I'm going to work on my current starship here. Um, upgrade starship. Um, apply augmentation. Um, I'm already maxed out on multi-tools. I just bought most of them and then used one multi-tool. So I just, that's why I had no money left. Um, ooh, let's we have enough of those slots right now. So let's keep buying slots. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. Nice. And now look at this. The money of my ship is still. Oh, it shows eighty-five. Now it's eighty-five million. Oh, hang on a second. So I could, oh, now, now I'm having a thing. Hang on a second. I find, I find multiple of those ships, keep one, scrap the other two, upgrade the ship twice with the augmentation and sell it for nearly double the money. That is amazing. I get the cops called on me when I try to buy slots. <laughs> Oh, you're funny. Um, Kona, thank you again for Super Chat. Sounds about right. You're, you're just that good over YouTube. <laughs> I doubt it, but thank you so much for your word of confidence. Um, I'm just trying to have fun. And usually, hopefully, people like uh, have fun as well. You know, um, That's why I don't like streaming games too much that I'm not having too much fun with. Um, even if they're good. So, But we definitely do one more Dragon's Dogma stream. And if, if, if it's not going to improve then uh, we might just focus on the main story and finish the story. I believe the main story is quite short if we focus on that. So we can can do that because I would like to complete the story. Um, if I go to salvaging... Yeah, you see the way this... The, you, th this is the glitch. Did you see that? Yeah. It says 85 million, but it says 59 million still. Yeah. 
So you don't get the new price when you scrap it. So, um, but I think if we go out and in, I don't know if that makes a difference, but it definitely will make a difference when we um, leave the station and come back, or if we reload the save, then you get the, the money. Or was that wrong? Yeah, that's 85 million. Just one second. So this is typical, okay? This is typical boss behavior. So my wife said she's gonna pick up my daughter and a friend of her for a sleepover later, yeah? But they haven't eaten, obviously. So they're gonna get food on their way home. And I said, well, if they get food on the way home, you know, why don't you um, uh, get me some as well? Because I have eaten only during lunch. Now I had a microwave meal thing, you know, which is enough for the day, I guess, yeah? But uh, give me a shout, you know, and I might want some as well. And she looks at me and she says, just eat what's in the fridge. I'm cooking food. You know, you can eat that. I'm like, okay, you're right. I'm sorry. And now they call me and she asks me what I want for takeaway food. Why am I put? To, why am I being put through that stress level? Okay, of like, stop eating your fat. So do you want some food? And it's like, oh my god. Like I can't deal with this. So I said I don't want anything because she's right. I should be eating the food that she cooks. In the fridge. Um. So <laughs> Actually, a coffee would be nice. You're actually absolutely spot on. I might actually say if she, if it's not too inconvenient, if she could get me a coffee. Um, I'm okay for food, I guess. But um, if it's not too much trouble, boss, a coffee, like latte, I guess, uh, latte, uh, would be the bomb. If she asks me why, why I talk like this, I have to sound cool in front of people I'm streaming. So, um, don't try to understand women. Women understand women and they hate each other. Okay, yeah, that's right, yeah. Just hope she gives you close soon. Uh, Kona loves you a long time. Yes, thank you so much. No, I appreciate uh, all your support. I just hope when people do that, that they're, that they're okay with doing that. You know, I don't want people to ever feel like they have to do it and then they can't buy a game for themselves, you know, or worse. Then that would be terrible. That, that, that would not be good. So I, nobody needs to do this, but it's always appreciated, of course. It's this other stream audience calling. He's cheating on us. Yes. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, I'm the boss at home, yeah? So on our uh, streaming profiles, I'm boss, but then there's another profile called the real boss, and the kids set it up. I think it's my wife's profile, but I let her have that moment, so, you know, she gotta have something. So, let's, <laughs> I hope she didn't hear me shit. She doesn't watch my stream, so it's okay. Um, <laughs> oh, you just spent $700 on a processor motherboard? I hope it was worth it. That sounds juicy. That sounds juicy. So, oh my god, I hope my ringtone is not gonna get me demonetized. Like, I would have to take it out otherwise. Crap. It's Captain Future, which uh, the German version, like, which is uh, an absolutely awesome theme song. Like, it's a TV show from the 80s, I think it was. 80s? Early 90s? Late 80s? Something like that. Captain Future. I think it was a American show, but they translated it, and then in Germany, the theme song even got awards, like, you know, when they changed it to, in Germany. It was amazing. Oh, the 7,900, 7, I hear a lot of people are buying that. Like, it must be very good. So anyway, let me get my head around things, what we're doing here. We are, we got money. Oh yeah, let's see if the save fixed the price, actually. So, um, where's my ship? 85 million. So anyway, I have a feeling that we could make some profit if we buy ships 
scrap the drones and then upgrade ships and um, sell them because look at this we went from 59 million ah, it's still broken we went from 59 million with two augmentations and I think the money there's a thing where the money only goes up if you complete the rows I think so when you complete the row you get a huge jump in money I think I have to figure this out because that means we could make some money by buying cheap ships scrap the sentinel ones for the augmentation which seems to be guaranteed every time we scrap it and then complete a row in a ship the best thing that could happen then if that's still the case is to have two empty ones here on a ship we buy it for like four million and then sell it for like 15 or something that would be really um, be amazing it's father's castle but uh, what mom says always goes absolutely and she always has the tendency of making this make, letting me make decisions that somehow feel afterwards like they weren't mine it's it's very strange anyway okay so let's go and buy something what we need we need to buy a core so um i want to actually make a, an ugly s class explorer or make it a b class i guess we'll see so if we go here, I think it's this one or the ship one. Is that? Do you sell cores? No. Ooh, movement module. I think I could do with another movement module. So we move this one here. And put this one here. Nice. 219% jetpack, sprint distance, initial booster. Oh, sprint distance. Sprint recovery time fuel efficiency so this is the one we want oh i need one i need something unlocked here god damn it so we can put this one in a three slot okay let's move this here move this one here this one here and this one here and this one here Yes, now we have the ultimate... Oh no, it needs to be here. Damn it. It, it needs to be on the other side. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We, we're gonna get one in the anomaly and then we can do that. Yeah, no worries. We have to go to the ship vendor and buy the core. So when we build a ship, we need three parts. We need the cockpit, the wing, the engine, and we need a core. But the core you can only buy it. And the core is kind of what decides if it's what class of ship it's gonna be. Um, my younger sister told her husband uh, he can't afford to divorce her. They have six kids. She would ruin him. Ha! Hey, yeah, we have the same problem, except it's in the reverse. Like, yeah. So when whenever we have arguments, like not serious arguments, but like you know, like a bit of a disagreement or something, and especially in front of the kids, yeah, then it's like fine, fine. Why don't you move out? You know, but you take the kids. And then she's like, no, you take them. I've been taking care of them. And it's like, why would I take them? Why you punish me? Like, just take them. I pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> and the kids are just there. Okay, this sucks. Like, no, we're not winning in this one. <laughs> she was kind of letting have a sofa in the garage. Nice. I love it. So here we go. We have class reactor. So this is an S class reactor that costs 11 thousand nanites so we're gonna buy the cheapest one actually yeah we're gonna buy the cheapest one the c will we buy the b class no for testing we're just gonna buy the c class end of story um oh we got a discount oh technology merchant nice so if we oh that is so cool so there's a is that another guild we can get more discounts for that would be amazing anyway so now we can build a ship and it's gonna be ugly because the parts don't match, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's, um, we're gonna put on one side, so like I said, when, it, when you disassemble a ship, it asks you, do you want the left wing or the right wing? It doesn't matter, a wing is a wing, you can see they end up being wings. If I go left wing, I get both options, one of them is actually left, the other one right. If I go right wing, we get both options. So in this game, left and right wing is treated equally. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm getting a response. I'm probably in trouble enough for asking. Um... Oh. 
See, now they're fighting over it, which is worse because they, I'm going to end up paying for it yeah, in one way or another. So one of my daughters said that uh, my wife is going to get it on the way home in a specific shop. And my other daughter said, oh, I can get you one on the way home. You know, where I am, it's open, the shop. <laughs> That's great. And my other daughter is now saying, oh, if you're getting daddy a coffee, yeah, I'm also having a Gatorade. Thanks. It's great when you see once you volunteer, that's it. You're voluntold for everything else. So which one do we want left or right? So we can put the left wing here and the right wing here. So or and the hull is beautiful. Mwah. Yeah. And now we can put the reactor coin. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Oh, my God. I, I wish we could rotate it. Yeah, it is so offset. Um. What is, oh, we can give it a nice metallic body. So what do you guys, what, what color do you guys think we should pick for the body? And what should we pick? Oh, that looks awesome. Blue and yellow, or even the other way around, yellow and blue. I don't know, guys. I mean, blue and green would suit us fine because that is what we actually rock on our Buzz Lightyear color. But uh, you tell me, guys, the purple and blue, so, Oh, you mean blue and purple or purple and blue? So... Uh, do you know how to get the planetary scanner for a freighter? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Let me think. There is... I think there is a vendor or a machine in the actual um, freighter. And there you can unlock with uh, you can unlock it with some of the units or something or some currency that you can earn. Azamain would be able to answer that very well for you because I think he's actively currently playing that. So does that? I don't know about purple as a body. Do you think it would be better to have a blue body and purple wings? I definitely go for the bright blue on the wings and the bright purple then. Blue base with purple highlights. Yeah, because I think blue base is kind of nearly a must because I like blue. That's my color. Like, um, But having the purple wings... <laughs> blue wings. and I can't color the engines, actually. That's... Oh, can I? Oh, hang on a second. What? What just happened? Oh, look at that. So we can be metallic. Then we can be matte, which is okay. So matte is brighter, but metallic. The um, um, as a main, sorry, Kona is wondering um, how do you get the planetary scanner for a freighter if there is one? I guess I, I don't remember if there is one. That's, that's actually interesting. I don't know. It's metal. I mean, this looks bright, but metallic always looks kind of more awesome. Yeah. All right, we're gonna have to give it to Ethereal this time. Um, bright purple and bright blue. So now I have. Actually, there's lots of room here. That is pretty awesome. So, but what is the value to sell it now? That is the key now. What is the value to sell it now? We probably bought, in total, we spent 12 million on ships to get those parts. So let's see how much it's worth. Oh, we actually have it currently selected. It's only 5.8 million. So if we made this an S class, so for a lot of nanites, you could make this very expensive, but then again, converting money to nanites probably will come at the same expense when you get to the pirates. I'm not 100% sure. But look how ugly this baby is. Oh my god, it is so ugly. 
Oh, I can't actually rotate here. Okay. So let me um, head over here first. Like the color isn't ugly, it's just the shape of it is very ugly. We have to do this quest here. Where is he? Oh, he's, he, this is the dude. Yeah. So this is now about base expansions. They want me to go and expand the base now and hire all those people so we can fully operate, basically. <laughs> it's making your OCD go nuts. I can imagine, yeah. Um, where's your base sighted? Hazard protection meets your needs. Oh shit, I actually don't... I don't know. Okay. Oh, I didn't choose. I right-clicked. Okay. Oh, we got some blueprints. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, this one looks amazing. What is that? Oh, look at those wings. There were awesome wings, man. They were absolutely beautiful wings. Yeah, we're gonna fly this one in a second. So, return to your base, use the space station teleporter and travel instantly, yeah. So my base is, so this is my, my base, my first base, it's uh, whatever. So these, these two, so this one was on the first planet where we saw the Sentinels, and it's in this system. And I made a second one in this system, which is also on a cold planet, a frozen planet, also with Sentinels, because I thought we might get different ships on two different planets, but they're all the same ship, the Sentinel ones. So it must be system wide that you get that type of ship. Unless you find a special crash site, maybe, I have no idea. But um, this one is my actual, you know, first base, like, so which looks pretty shit in the moment. So, but we have to expand on it. So let's go. Um, what do you mean? Why am I calling something wings? Oh no, the wings, the wings of the ship. They, they genuinely looked really awesome. That's what I was saying. Face looks like a caterpillar, yeah. Okay, so now look, there's our ship. Now we can actually properly look. Oh, look, there's even a, a logo on the side. Okay, so let me actually hover with the ship if I can. And now we can put the sun here. There we go. Where's the ship? Where's the ship? Um, can we have the sun maybe right above us? It's like it's not bright enough for some reason. Hmm, interesting. Let me fly a little bit up, I guess. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So <laughs> we got those those wings, which look pretty awesome. This one actually looks pretty awesome. And we got a, a logo there as well. And we got a logo here as well. So this is our first custom-built explorer ship. <laughs> it's, it, the colors actually look pretty awesome. Um, I just think that... Um, the um, shapes are just so crazy. So let's give it a boost. Oh, I, I don't... There we go. There's the boost. And now we have the nice boost lines. That's what I wanted. Okay, so let's commemorate that. Um, the sun should probably be here. Oh, look at this baby now. Yeah, there we go. Do a little bit of a tilt. There we go. 
Our first custom ship. There we go. Nice. Gotta save that. land again by our base. Where's our base gone? There. It looks like an accident. The shapes are so random. Okay, so what we really want though now is um, someone Kashi's transporter. Who's Kashi? What does it want me to place a construction? I have a construction thing here. Okay, we have everything here, actually. We have the solar panels, we have the power, so we have power supplies. We need stairs, we definitely need stairs, yes. Yeah, 25 salvage data. stone structures um, okay so yeah the only thing we need here is a uh, that's five and five then yeah no let's not waste them all we need them for other things as well now I can finally put some stairs here um, Rotate again, rotate, 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 there. And then once we get triangular walls, we can put them in here. The railings. Oh, okay, we have to put two pieces there? Alright, okay, I see. Good, I like it. So now they want me to build these construction terminals. So, which means it's getting a bit um, big now because I think, yeah, we need to build out. We need to build out. So I don't think it will fit in here. I don't think so. Let me see. Can I just... How do I get rid... Oh, okay, I have to hover. There we go, get rid of this. I don't like when they all show as high... Oh, that takes forever. I'm going to do it another time. Um, let me see. Here. We can make storage, which is just needs power, which is good. And then we can build this. Now, how big... Oh, that actually fits here? Okay. Um, let me go into first-person mode. Oh, this is actually pretty cool. So we can put that right here. Uh, 
That is nice. So it fits right in here. So now we need a skilled overseer. Okay. Uh, you did over 60 dungeon crawls, never got one S rank once. Oh, when you say dungeon crawls, you mean these big um, haulers that you go in, these horror haulers where you shoot everything, these freighters, derelicts. Oh, the freighter modules for storage. Salvage freighter modules. Oh, salvage freighter modules. That's different. Yeah, I think. Can you not buy them with. Um, oh, yeah, the currency you need to buy them with is what you get from those dungeons. Oh, man. Yeah, that's terrible. Okay, so what are we up to now? Um, we need to hire someone, so we need to fly back into space, I guess. Potential overseer recruit. Okay, let's go. We also need to call in. Yeah, my. This could be better. And this will be better. As soon as we get the next slot in our exo suit. Okay, why can I not summon it? It's too close to the planet, is it? There we go. Now we can buy another exosuit slot. And we can get rid of the other multi-tools. Oh, it's the action upgrades. Yeah, okay, yeah, I get you now. Yeah. Um, has anyone played Star Citizen? I have not. Um, it, it's just one of those games where I thought it's a heavy investment for something that's continuously in development, and uh, I don't even know if it's in a, what state it is in right now. to buy this exact slot it's a bit of a pain because that's cheap but we have to get this slot here because this is my supercharged slot we have to get this one excellent so now what we can do is we can put this one here and now this one in the middle is that the strongest one let me see initial boost recharge rate 219 jet tank no, this one had an initial initial boost of 6%, which is better. Uh, sprint distance. Fuel efficiency. I think I'm going to go with this because I prefer the initial boost being quite high. And that will be now a 33% initial boost, which is amazing. And that gets even further boosted by these guys, which you don't see really on the numbers. It just happens. Yeah, we have to buy more slots up here. We're running out. We're running out of space everywhere. Um, this one I can actually s thermal protection. Actually. I already have a thermal protection module. I suppose we could put this here and then put this one here. Oh, nice! This is actually a heat one. Oh yeah. Okay, that's good. So we have both. Excellent. Good for heat and for cold. 
Und, ähm... Als äh, C-Class. Now, when it comes to the multi-tool, ähm... I have... Oh, Jesus. Sorry, give me one second. Sorry about that. I got my coffee. I just have to get my sweetener. Um, not put sweetener. Can't get any more help. figure out a way that I can ask them to get me coffee and then have a little slot in the door just to deliver it so I don't have to talk to anybody because I got bullied now again into something I was basically asked like oh so how would you like it to meet like the parents of all of your daughter's friends and like like meet them all and talk to them and like for a party and I'm like I don't like people like especially new people so probably not And then my wife said, no, he will come because he's told. And I'm like, okay, I will come. I'm gonna be so uncomfortable. I'm dreading it already. It's, it's not that I don't have an issue with, with anybody. I just don't like that whole first time meeting and people then talking about things I'm not interested in. And it's like politics, I don't have a clue about politics, sports, I don't have a clue about sports. Uh, golf, don't have, a, don't have a clue. Yeah, but Biggles, you're safe distance people. <laughs> <laughs> so
So yeah, it's gonna be one of those things where there's gonna be food and alcohol and I will not drink because I know I'm gonna make an absolute tit of myself and then the first impression is like, oh yeah, her father, he's the, yeah, he's that dude, yeah. It's like, no. And then when they ask me what my hobbies are, I will not say computer gaming, I will say golf, I guess. Or, uh, or I will answer a question with a question. It's gonna be, so what are your hobbies? What are your hobbies? Oh yeah, mine too. Amazing, are we so alike? Oh, I'm already hating everything about it. <laughs> How many nanites? Ooh, nice. 350 nanites. Do you have anything for me? I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm comfortable in front of people, like like in work when I have to give a presentation and stuff like that. I don't care. It's, you know, whatever, you know, and even in a room full of people, like when it's work related and I know what I'm talking about and stuff, I don't know what she was like. But, um, oh, there's a nice S class. Such a But when it comes to actual private people, then I'm always like, I always feel like I'm the most, the most least successful person, you know, there. And then there's the whole dick measuring. There's, it depends who you meet. Like, you know, some people are very dick measuring. I have been to parties where, where, where we were, where you can see the guy who just likes to make sure you talk about a topic that he knows about 100% and can show off his knowledge, but then also tie it in with some success in his life. You know that type of person? So you could be talking about football, I don't know, and then they go and somehow manage to change the discussion into a techie area or something that they were really successful in. And I hate those people. I really hope there's not gonna be anyone like that. Because I will just stay the hell away from them. I just can't stand them. <laughs> Yeah, shallow people, exactly, yeah, so. And it, it gets worse when you're the only one not drinking. The last party I went to, I was, I decided to, to be the driver and my wife was doing the drinking. And um, they, they, when people get drunk, the conversations, they ask you questions and you're about to answer and then they just interrupt you and basically start talking to someone else about different things. And it's like, it's, because they're drunk, obviously, like, you know, and it's just like, yeah, so whatever. So the last party I was, they had dogs, which was great because I was able to take the dogs and play with the dogs all evening. So that probably made me look really weird and just think about it, but ah, fuck it, don't care. Um, the dogs loved it. So there's that. Is that where we have to go? Yes. I'm not telling them anything like that. That would be my worst nightmare to have uh, my daughter exposed to parents that watch me and see the, that, that crap I do, like, you know, that I enjoy, but that is not for them. And then, you know, they get all judgy and it's like, oh, it's like I, I don't know. It's, 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 I don't know. I don't feel very comfortable around that sometimes. It's kind of nice when it's different if it's somebody that uh, you know like saw me and then they talk to me that's different but like I may I have I have worked with people like who watched my channel and they did and they and then I, that was okay but when it's like exposed through my daughter and stuff I'm not sure exactly how I feel about that. anyway we have to talk to oh I thought he was here do we not have to talk to someone here hang on a second potential overseer recruit Oh, I thought it was in here. Usually it's on one of those stations. Yeah, we already got everything here. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, it's it's true, ethereal, like but I overthink things. I'm you know, I'm a like I said, I write code, I overthink things, you know, that's just in my nature. So I, 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 every time I'm out afterwards, I will be 
basically oh it's behind it is it behind it i will basically i reanalyze every single thing i said to someone and every single thing someone else said to me i'm so confused i thought it was on a planet but now it tells me it's on a station what i mean i'm confused now So it is on that station. But then why did it point outwards again as soon as I arrived? So yeah, because I was like, that, that has to be on the station. I remember doing it before. Is the game worth playing? I can never get past the tutorial plans as it takes too long. Well, it, that's part of the experience, I guess. Um, but um, once you pass it, like you... It's, I mean, I think it's worth playing. It has tons and tons and tons of stuff to do. Like, um, you can just play the story, I guess, uh, which keeps you busy enough. But the story is kind of slowly unlocking more and more features of the game. I don't think you need necessarily the story. I'm not sure. But for example, the stuff I'm doing for the story right now is for me to unlock my personal um, shopkeepers whatever you call them like workers that work for me and that work on specific stations i built in my base but i don't know if these workstations could be unlocked without doing the story quest i don't think so because you can't buy the blueprints for them you have to earn them through the quest system and then there's other things like for example uh, they had an update that they released for free which was called the um settlers update or something and that allows you then to have a quest here where you go and start buying a settlement and then expanding it and building it and build different buildings in it like you know uh, to to get passive income and you know you have to deal with uh, disputes in the settlement and all that every now and then if you want yeah so there's that then they had an update about pirates which i think is i don't know if it's this quest but there's a quest you can get at some point as you play the main mission quest that unlocks the ability to then uh, get a pirate quest unlocked which was part of the pirate update so all the updates have their own quest lines that um, unlock things for you like you know and so yeah i don't know it's, it depends how you play a game so it really depends so where is the guy that we're supposed to talk to where is he you see because the icon shows me it's outside but i have no idea Expand your staff, okay. Oh, maybe it's one of those guys. So maybe it doesn't show me the guy, but it just has me talk to him. No, he, he's not one, but I might as well request the language from him. Um, they are Vikings, so they like aggression. Warrior, nice, he will appreciate that. Death. He's gonna look at me and laugh at me, does he? Oh no, I lose the reputation point. I offended him. Doesn't matter. Um, who else can I talk to? I'm supposed to hire someone here. Oh, maybe him. There's one of the options should be if they want to work for me, but they have to be very specific um, NPCs. No. Alex, how are you? I hope you're doing well. I don't think there's anybody here, unless it's... Is it maybe someone else I have to talk to? No. It wouldn't be a Corvax. Would it? Oh, he has something in his hand. Maybe him. Assistant. Maybe it's him. Nope. I'm a little bit at a loss. Let's 
so when I insult it. Yeah, and there's no icon here anywhere, so I'm not really sure. No. They usually are in a special room, and the space stations all have changed, so I don't know if we still have special rooms here. I don't think so. That's uh, you used to go into a space station, go into one of those special rooms, and there was always one of the guys uh, walking around that you could hire. I just don't think there's anybody here, to be honest. Oh, maybe here. Hang on, Corporal. Oh, visit. Yeah, let's talk to this guy. No, not this guy. The other guy, he has also something in his hands. Where is he? Oh, I already spoke to him. Spoke to him. God damn it. Uh, spoke to... Then I don't know. I'm a little bit at a loss then. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anybody here that I can... Yeah, that's it. Let's go. They want us to move on. Oh, I haven't spoken to him. Yeah, I can't hire him either. Okay, mining overseer, maybe him. Okay, let's go. They want us to go back to the base. And build a cylindrical room. Uh, yeah, the story is mostly useful to getting the cliffs. So basically there's a Stargate thing in there, um, Ghana, that... Um, Eventually you unlock the ability to use that Stargate and then type in addresses of planets to go to specific planets anywhere in the galaxy. And um, a lot of people share certain addresses basically for planets that look really awesome or might have a really awesome fresh ship on it that you can get. So you can then dial that number and the, and the numbers are simple. It's basically like Stargate. And as uh, simple as that. So we have to construct a cylindrical room. Room. I don't think I have that unlocked. Oh, I do. But I need some more pure ferrite, which is okay because I can craft it with... Um... Actually, do you know what? Let me use a little bit of that stuff here. And now I should have enough. Um, and the cylindrical room is something that you build on a platform connecting to things. Okay, so we have to build the cylindrical room and we have to build a... Con like a connecting tunnel or something. Oh man, that's gonna be so tough now to do. Okay, so why don't we step out and okay, let's do this. to remove is it build where's remove edit build to see yeah and we remove that with x 
So what I want to do now is uh, build another platform. with two up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Can I copy this part so I know swap part, move, copy, duplicate, E. Excellent. I think it's ferrite, isn't it? Um, carbon. Oh, I have some condensed. Uh, yeah, all right. Brilliant. Oh my god, completely finishing entire game, all achievements in No Man's Sky. That must take thousands of hours, surely. Because I think, I wouldn't be surprised if one of the achievements is like 10 times to reset the galaxy or something like that. Okay, so now we have... So we have this here, yeah, which is our basic center. But then we're building out. So the the cylindrical room should go somewhere here. Um, how big is it? Oh wow. Okay, so it will probably be three by three. Okay, so if it's three by three, where do we want that three by three to start? So we go from here. Okay, let's do the three by three here. it here. Oh, I wanted to go exactly in the center. Oh, can we actually fix it? I think there's a way to fix the position. Toggle free placement.
Yes, we can do the top view camera now. Oh yeah, there we go. Now it's a fixed camera. That's awesome. So we can put it exactly on the spot we want. Where's the door actually? Hang on. Where's the door? I actually don't know where the door will be. I hope it's here because that's where I want it to be. See, it's very hard to see when it's in the middle. the hell are you? What? Jesus, Azamane, you give me a bloody heart attack. I was like, what the hell is happening? Oh, where's the door to this? Oh, I have to actually put a door in it, I think. So that's good. So it means I can slap it right here. I mean, it looks... It looks center-ish, I guess. I don't know. Is it? Oh, actually, look at that. Not a bad guess. We're off by just literally not much, actually. That is awesome. That was a really good placement. I'm very happy with that. Oh, I like your, like your multi-tool. That looks amazing. You look like this old man, and then you absolutely destroy everything with your multi-tool. What is that? Oh, look at that. Steam friends, blah, blah, blah. That's amazing. I have 56 million now. I'm rich. Okay, so we have that. What, what do I need to do next? Expand your staff. Construct terminals for specific researchers. Find recruitments. Okay, space stations. Okay. So now we can take this one, actually. Construction terminal. A research station tailored to the needs of construction overseers and equipped. Yeah, so if we build them all in that circle, I should probably move that thing in there. I think they slot perfectly in here, like, yeah. Yeah, there you go. So we can put one exactly here, exactly here, or here, or here. Okay, so let's put it right here, I guess. Nice. So now it would make sense to actually expand, uh, expand staff in your home base. So, yeah. Oh, a dead animal. No, and I didn't even get the meat from it. Oh, I can show you now the duplication of the of the items like that. That still works. So we have a portal refiner here. So let's put in. Um, I don't know what can we put in. Let's. Um, we can put a refiner in it. Um, yeah, let's say, for example, um, I want more. Um, carbon whatever it doesn't matter condensed carbon so I can put 240 condensed carbon in for example or an item it doesn't matter the multi-tool item yeah and then all you really do is um, place another portable refiner on top it has to be pretty much um, in the same position so if you stay a bit further away you can put it pretty much there so you basically build it on top of it yeah and you can build multiple, absolutely. So I can just build another one. Yeah, I have to go a little bit forward. Um, oh, why does that? Not? Oh, I don't have the resources. Yeah, um, but you can build as many as you want on top of each other. And then what happens is once you destroy them, see now I got the carbon back, and I got the carbon back. So I got twice the carbon from.
from the charging and twice the condensed carbon. So everything is duplicated. So anything you can place into that slot will allow you to duplicate it, basically. And you can see I have twice as much here now. So it works with anything you can place into it, like anything. So you could put your multi-tool in it and it will just keep duplicating that. So exosuit items. Now, I, when for building materials, I don't have, I personally will probably most likely do it for that because I'm too lazy to just run around the planet and gather certain materials that are really hard to find or whatever. So if I need like for a big base build, say a thousand condensed carbon, I will literally just duplicate them. That's it. I don't care. Yeah, because this game is not about, oh, salvaging like you do in Seven Days to Die with farming wood and, and stone and iron. It's, it's about certain resources, but not to that extent. Now, mining copper, I don't duplicate that. I kind of go, yeah, okay, you want to go and mine copper. You know? But um, certain things are just pointless to, to try to chase down. Like, you know, do, you, do, do I want to go around and destroy uh, 100 rocks to get all the ferrite I need for building something in my base now? Like, I'm not gonna. So, um, but with items, I usually don't do it. I kind of try to earn them or craft them and build them. So, but yeah, each to their own, absolutely. It's a single player game that, well, it has a multiplayer aspect, but you're not really competing with each other. So, it's fine. I personally don't care. So, let's place this one back down. Oh, do this. Oh, look at you. You have a nice pet. That is awesome. What is that ship? It's amazing. Okay, um, let's stop getting sidetracked. The ship looks really cool that you have there. It's a salvage. Oh, that's one of those salvage ships. Um, that model looks amazing. Is it a, what class is it? It doesn't show me the class actually of it. Now we do want to build some support in the end. We can have a bridge which is hovering, that's fine. But I do want... Um, walls here. power outlet here. Oh, I still have to power it. I forgot I have to power things. So we might want to build a... Um, do you know what? We, we can build some battery, um, some batteries here on the bridge. Um, where are the batteries? Here. Batteries. 60 magnetic ferrites and 100 condensed carbon. We can build three. So... Why don't we put two down first, and one here, and then one here. Then we can connect uh, solar panels. Can we build some solar panels? We need metal plating, and chromatic, and how many do I have? Chromatic, metal, and gold. I have a few gold and I have a few chromatic metal. I can actually make more chromatic metal. Just let's get a few here. Okay. And make 
take some metal plates. Let's say if we can make four, I would like to make four. And we can place them anywhere here on top. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Let's just explode. Oh my god, there's a big second. That's your freighter as a main. It's invisible. <laughs> so let's put them here, I guess. I like placing them on roofs. I don't know why. Actually, let's do three. And then we need wire, so we're connecting this to this, this to this, and then each of those to those. going to connect each of those to here as well. And then we're gonna hide the cables with a cable management electricity it was a cloak. Oh we need some more chromatic metal. Double, isn't it? Uh, so we need 100. And we'll get 50 out of it. Yeah. Uh, duplication works about everything except. In, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Coffee. Let's not get it cold. room temperature okay so that should charge our batteries now nice beautiful and we can now take the This one to our house. Excellent. And now we're going to connect uh, the power to this. Oh, hang on, this is the wrong way around, is it? Is the power on the front or the back? I actually never know which way around this goes. So, uh, let's connect the power cables. Now we're gonna hide the power cables um, with. Actually, before I place it, we have everything now for it. Yes. So before I place it, I'm gonna place it on my roof. Um... Let's actually place it in the center of the roof here, so it looks like a little flag or something.
Oh, it rotates, then it doesn't matter. And now all the cables are gone. Yay! And now we can teleport pretty much anywhere. And our power is going up. Very nice. Two batteries should be enough for now to store because we only have a little bit of power. Um, so now we can go straight back to the space station. And see if we can hire someone there. What do these icons mean? Technology, sporadic conflict. We need, for, for construction we need Viking, don't we? So this is a Viking system. Ours is not a is, is ours a Viking system? Yeah, but we didn't find anybody there. So let's head over here and see if we can find someone there. Yeah, once you find a portal you want to make a a note of it. You wanna put a base there and like no swishy swooshy so expand and staff your new home base access the mission log to expand so yeah yeah oh it could be a special oh yeah that's the quest I need hire a base overseer I switched quest accidentally that's why it went bananas mission target is in another system use a teleporter to instantly return to the previous system That's why we couldn't see him. I accidentally changed mission. There you go, that's him. There, oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, by scrap motion, if you're talking about the ship, you can still scrap your ship. Yeah, that's that exists. Oh, I never scrapped my multi-tools in the anomaly end. That's dope. So. Oh, Kona, thank you for the super chat. Uh, Games, can you check to see if there's a scrap merchant inside? What do you mean by scrap merchant? Because inside the station you have this. This here, which is a um, starship outfitting. But there you can um, either upgrade your ship or salvage your ship. And then you can either break it into parts for building your own custom ships or claim the scrap worth. So that's the, the, the... Is that what you mean? Oh! Under the stairs to the right. You mean something else. Sorry. Under the stairs to the right. Are you talking about this? this no, this, this guy is a cartographer. So he's a cartographer. Then here you have the teleporter, and here you have um, the mission agent. So this is the guy who gives you the missions that you can undertake. Oh, multi-tool expansion slot, there you go. Unsolvable jam turnover, mesh decoupler. Oh, coordinates for Delic traders. Can you not just, can you not only buy them in certain stations, anyway. So this is the cartographer. Um, let me see what you have here. Ask for help. Exchange specific charts. Under the stairs to the to the right of the ship. Oh, you're talking about this here. That's the appearance modifier. That's the starship fabricator. Literally under the stairs to the right of the ship construct terminal. So if I have that on my left, to the right, but that, no, this is the um, mission agent. There's nothing here. 
I think Azamane is gonna have to come here and let me sh uh, <laughs> But your directions! You're, no, under the stairs to the right of the ship construct terminal. This is the, sh uh, this is the ship construct terminal. This is to the right of it. But there's nothing there. There's a terminal and there's... Uh, unless you have it on the other side, then to the right of it is an appearance modifier. And to the left of it is the... So, you see, it depends now which right do you mean. Under the stairs to the right of the ship construction terminal. This is the ship construction terminal. And to the right would be anything on this side. So... And you say under the stairs, so if you're talking about over the stairs, then that's your fault. And see how your directions match to what you actually want to show. You see, it's... 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 It depends what your what your direction is, you know, what you're facing. Unless you're talking about this. What is this? Station coin, no, that's different. This is the technology merchant for starships and this is the technology merchant for Esco Exocrafts. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. This is the um and this is the mission agent. He's a different dude. He's uh, for the guild. Yeah, and to the right of this, you have the modification station. Oh, dude, this is stairs. You see the stairs here? So when you say to the right of the starship fabricator under the stairs. I thought you were standing like this here and to the right of it under the stairs is nothing. <laughs> so yeah, so your directions were absolutely correct, yeah. Uh, Joseph, how are you? Really busy, but I thought to pop in and give you a thumbs up. Thank you so much. Even the angry aliens looks happy in this game, yeah. So here's your scrap dealer, there you go. Kona, you should. You, you, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give uh, five dollars to to uh, Azame next time he's streaming. <laughs> Poke me on Discord next time you're streaming, Azame, and I, I, I pass you on that five dollars that was for me giving directions. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pay go my Google Maps. Sorry, I mean Azame, you know, for the for the hard work. I have no sense of directions, so I take everything very literal and overthink it, yeah? So, which means if you say to the right of something, it depends how you're facing it, you know? And it's like... <laughs> I overthink things. Uh, it's really you, forgive me, I've been searching for you such a long time. Oh, a meal of your long time. Yes, absolutely. Anyway, I hope you've, you, know, you now know where it is, Kona. Um, super chat coming in from Kona minus five dollars. <laughs> um, higher construction overseer. Yes. So now this dude will work for me. He's a work gag. Visit the overseer at the terminal. So now I'm gonna go back to my base. I didn't even see that there was a guy under the stairs. I, I, I've, I've, I've run through all the stations multiple times and never seen that guy. Ever. That is crazy. Oh man. But then again, uh, holy shit, that's well hidden. Uh, yes, it is Kona. Thank you. Um, but you know, I, like I said, I have no sense of directions and I don't really pay attention to a lot of things yet. So I, I think I've, after, I live, after I lived here for about 10 years or something, yeah, I remember coming into, my, into the beginning of our housing estate and I saw for the very first time that there's actually a sign 
not a sign usually usually you have the street signs on the wall here in the housing estates where it says you know where you're going in like you know drive avenue whatever but a pole with a sign saying avenue drive and, and i remember being in the house my wife saying like oh they, they put up new signs and she just looks at me dude that has been literally here since the day we bought the house and i'm like no way absolutely no way I have never seen it for 10 years I drove past it never seen it and I looked at it and go oh wow we have a new uh, sign there that looks so ominous as a man what are you doing ominous ominous floating <laughs> oh crotch shot so yeah like I, I drive my, my wife nuts like that. Okay, so what do we have to do? We have to talk to the overseer. Okay, let's talk to him. See, now it's nighttime, I think. So how's our batteries holding up? Oh, nice. It's going down pretty quickly for what we're using it for. Oh, I also should actually give power to this thing here. I don't... Does it need power right now? We probably should connect it, though. Now, what? Now I can't use the door. What? What? That's crazy. It's connected by power and I can't open the door anymore. That is crazy. What? How do I... Okay. How do I disconnect it? Um... Toggle wiring. Um, edit. No. Toggle wiring. How do I? Do I just left click and then? Oh crap! How do I disconnect it? Oh, can I click on the actual? Let me edit and then remove. The line? Can I remove the line? Yes! Okay. It, you didn't see it was highlighted because it was still blue. That is crazy! When the door is powered, it, it doesn't open. That is insane. Okay, whatever. You have so much to learn, so much to see, and this place will be our home amidst the infinite. Sure. Take this class. I love class. Thank you. How did you know I love eating class? You must have watched one of my Seven Days to Die videos. If you prepare chromatic metal, I will use it to calibrate the science terminal suitable for a Corvax entity. So, yeah. So, whoever was asking about the game. So, you have to play certain parts in the missions if you want to unlock that. Now, you can play the whole game never unlocking any of those stations. Absolutely. Yeah. It gives you that freedom. But if you want those stations, then you have to do that quest line. I don't think you can complete the the game necessarily because i think that ties into the main story quest as well for you to do that otherwise apollo doesn't talk to you or something uh, again un until you have it done okay collect chromatic metal for the overseer how much does he want He's adorable. Yeah, he is. Yeah, the Gekka really... The Gekka basically the Ferengi of this game. Yeah, I, I compare this game to Star Trek a lot. Yeah, you have the the, the Vorax or whatever, the, Vi the Viking. They're the, the Klingons. End of story. Now, the tech dudes, the Korvax, there's actually... They, they, they would be more like Data, I guess. They're very logical. But they could be, they could be theoretically, um, I guess, uh, the Vulcans because they're so logical. But... The closest, I guess, to their expressional existence is is Data, you know, who's very unique, I guess. But um, 
yeah, the Viking definitely are more cling on there into the violence and into honor and like, yeah, and these guys are all about profit. If there's profit to be made, it's all fun and games. End of story. So we need to make a lot more of that. So let's take about half of that stack. Um, split stack and I would say, yeah, let's go to 300. It was 154. There's probably more copper we can get here in the uh, around the corner. This looks like copper over there. Oh, actually, now that we have that slot, let me just run. Uh, uh, oh, we fixed it. Here. Okay. So let's. Oh, shit! I have the wrong multi-tool attached. That's why I wasn't able to switch anything. There we go. So for anybody who doesn't own this game yet, yes, it's worth buying and you only really have to play the main missions until you can summon the anomaly because you will want to summon the anomaly. If you don't continue the quest until you can do that, you're missing out on a hell of a lot of features because the anomaly allows you to buy all the blueprints and everything that you need to actually upgrade things and get better weapons and everything in this game. And even um, Nada uh, tells you that once you have the anomaly reached, you can ask Nada, how do I continue, you know? And Nada then says, do what you want, you know? Um, you can talk to Artemis again and try to figure out more about that character. Or why don't you go and, you know, do something else, you know? And so the game does give you a lot of freedom. I don't think in the... Nearly, nearly 350 hours that I played it. I never finished the main story quest once, ever. Now, the thing about this hole here is we can't actually refill these holes, yeah, as far as I know. Because if we go to restore it, we can't really restore anything beyond the damage that we did to the, to the non, um, mining to the non-mining resources because this will respawn eventually these resources will eventually respawn so um you can't really you could i think we could fill it by creating but that looks weird and it never really works out the same way you know what i mean But if you can, if you don't want to leave a hole, uh, do that. I think you can flatten, actually. And that might look better. I don't know. Does it look better? Maybe not. And yeah, now we have a big hole here. So, yeah, I don't... Yeah, let's just restore everything. we can and we just leave the big hole here and then eventually it will respawn and So we just leave it like that. Can you na name it Moogie? It has to be the female Ferengi, doesn't it? Uh, ethereal. She was she was the best anyway. Like you know, I remember that episode. It was so funny. A female being the Grand Negus. What what is wrong with you? Like and she's wearing clothes. 
It's like, what? A female wearing clothes? That is unheard of. Atrocity. I, I think the Ferengi were so hilarious. I was trying to get the giggity on. Yeah, Mugi was hilarious. She was so funny. She did all the... She, she actually solved all the problems always behind the scenes, but because she was a woman, she wouldn't be allowed to uh, take the credit for it. It's too funny. And then eventually they made her the next Grant Nagus or something, and she, she was actually in charge anyway, so it's, you know... So now I can do the science terminal, which is great. So um, we have to do two more terminals. We have the science terminal, which is for the Kovacs. And then the Kovacs has a little mission for us as well. Um, and then we're gonna unlock the Viking for the weapon station, which is really awesome. So blueprint recorded. Okay, so now we can go and... Let's see. Let me get rid of these things here. So. So we can put a station here, and then the third one. Okay. And then the third one can go here. So we have the free room here. Okay. So why don't we put this one here, and then the third one we can put here in the back, or we can put a door there. I guess we'll see. We'll see what we're gonna do. So we can put four stations in here, really. Let's put it here. It doesn't matter. So now we need to get a Kovax. Oh, we need to go to a, a Kovax galaxy map. I think if I go to the terminal, I might be able to just go to one. Oh, there's my teleporter. Totally, totally lost it. Um, Kovacs. There's a Kovac system here, but it might want me to do exactly what it tells me, fly into space and use the galaxy map or something. Yes, I can change the size of my mining beam and I completely forgot about it, Daniel, so yeah, sorry about that. For mining, I like using the small beam because you actually get more copper. Um, it's not that it gives you more copper out of the one resource, but what happens with the big beam is uh, a lot of the copper gets destroyed um, because you're, you're using the bigger beam. But it's faster, so if you have a lot of copper in the world, like, yeah, absolutely. But eventually you want outer miners and all that. So, higher scientist, higher staff in space. So there should be one here. If it's dynamic, the game, the quests, then you should find one here. Don't, is it? It should be. I can't see the logo. Yeah, I can't. Yes, excellent. So we can hire him. Think not of payment. Scanning you while you sleep will be reward enough. Yeah, definitely data. Absolutely. Scanning you while you sleep. Now, are you still part of the same guild? Yeah, you're part of... Oh, look, 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 look. What did I tell you? Multi-tool expansion slot. There you go. And it's free. See, it's free. And this one is free. Yeah, so remember as I mean what I, what I said earlier, I, I didn't pay for this. Yeah, and now you can get for free multi slot expansion tools. Buy it, reload, buy it, reload, buy it, reload, infinite. And um, you can also do that. Some of these vendors will give you frigate expansion slots. Others will give you um, exosuit expansion slots, I believe. And the and the other ones give you um, augment, uh, augment slots. So basically the game made it a shit ton easier to get all these things so that you don't constantly have to, you know, go crazy on, on doing shit. But we have to donate a lot of stuff. So the best thing to do is get actually crystal uh, salvage glass and just keep donating, I guess. Because I actually salvage glass is not that easy to farm. Uh, Crystallite's heart you can only get from 
I think the 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 dark sentinels and the cor the corrupted ones and they're completely glitched. Yeah, they're absolutely glitched. You shoot at them, they disappear. I don't know. They don't. They seem to go invisible, but I think they actually disappear because sometimes you can see the outline when they're invisible, but then you can't. And if I go underground to hide in a hole, they actually glitch through the ground, and they can hit me and then disappear again out of the ground. So escaping the dogs is really difficult, and fighting them to get the crystalite heart drop is also difficult because in the beginning, because I don't do enough damage to counteract the healing. As soon as you t shoot a dog. Uh, robot dog the um, the other flying things will start healing it but they heal it so fast it will outdo your damage and then if you try to focus on them to, to shoot them the dog will keep attacking you disappear attack you disappear I, I think it's glitched because there's no way that is a normal behavior that they continuously go invisible that you can't even aim at them yeah that, that, that is crazy so um, I think pirate transponders are probably the easiest you're just gonna have to shoot guys down and you will always get one I, I think that actually looks really good so let's go down to our station again oh just make sure we got the suit here Ooh, what is that is that an A class <gasps> it's an A class mm. it means we can fill up nearly everything and then it would be much cheaper to upgrade it to an S class then um Cheap as C class. Okay. Yeah, we got that one. Actually, something I wanted to do as well. Um, oh, nice! This actually looks pretty good. Oh, as I mean, you had to glitch in, didn't you? But anyway, I'm just gonna ignore you. I'm just gonna make a screenshot for this. Oh shit! What? Oh, it does automatic pick. I accidentally made. Ugh! I wanted. To No, it's getting dark now. Oh, damn it. oh no, there it is. There's the light. Yeah, that's. Mm. It seems to cut off everything on the, on the left. Oh, yeah, I want your ship in it as well. Yeah. Everybody will think it's mine. Yeah, there you go. That's perfect. And a little bit to the right. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Upload base. Beautiful. New screenshot. Stupid clouds. That freighter is awesome looking. Weather. Painfully hot rain. Okay. Let's talk to our buddy, the scientist. A fine base, traveler. Uh, as of course befits our honorable statue. The Kovacs is brimming with enthusiasm. Oh, yes. So actually, the Kovacs are more like the Borg. Yeah, they belong to a collective. And the problem with this dude is, is that he lost the connection to the collective, I believe. And we have to find his conscience. And then we have a choice to give him the option to go back to his collective or to be individual. So I think they're more like the Borg. 
Uh, to witness the monolith of Trevlin honor, but please Corvax contribute. Take the blueprints, lubricant, and acid liquid close to the Corvax heart. Oh, great. Uh, he gave us blueprints. Very nice. Harvest marrow bulbs, which are in a cave, so that's fine. And create um, plants for a microprocessor and advanced refiners. Corvax will also clean windows while you are gone. The Corvax is desperate to please, showering me with praise and offers of assistance. They tell me, oh, that changed. Uh, we had to find usually their conscience um, at some point. Maybe it's a, a follow-up quest. They will be able to use the substance to craft blueprints for microprocessor advanced refiner. So there you go. Because the mission also gives you blueprints, I already got the blueprints unlocked for the microprocessor. So if I would have just played the main story, I would have gotten all that already. And I have actually some cobalt as well. Okay. So what is it you actually now need? Um, return to space to make contact. Oh, we have to go to Apollo now. But I want to do that quest. Scientific research, yes. research return to the scientist oh okay we already have what he wants the scientist is quite a contrast to the slightly unsettling gag already at home was in my base they see the world with such a straightforward excitement the enthusiasm is infectious the callbacks buzzes and flashes their lights in a way that can only mean they're happy okay what do we have to get them doesn't oh there you go marble is harvesting while cobalt can be mined from rocks in the ore in caves okay so this is more copper we have to find a cave I think there's a cave somewhere around here. Here we go. Oh, nice. Another plant to scan. I also got a couple of scanner upgrades, so we're getting a lot more units now for scanning everything. Obviously, animals are the best. Oh, that's, a, that's not the... Oh, there we go. Marrow bulb. Already 20. And we have 32. Now, what do we need? Co um, cobalt. There we go. Cobalt rocks. Stalactites and stalagmites. What's that mining note here? What's that mining resource here? Oh, there's more scan. I love it. More quest. 
question marks. Okay, so what is this resource here? No, but hang on. There was... Oh, that was just the shadow from the light. Okay. Oh, what is down there? These things are poisonous. Yeah. So on the top right you can see the line, the power line of what I'm doing, if you're new to the game. And the higher the power line, the more powerful your beam, but if it goes all the way to the top, it will it will short circuit and um, you have to wait for it to cool down. But um, so having everything running in peak efficiency like that is obviously desired. So oh, what is that? Is that like a so you want to look as close to the top as possible. There's something here. Okay. Unknown building? Ooh, that could be actually for exosuits. Carbon and condensed carbon, very nice. More of that. the thing I just marked the building where's it gone there it's actually very close oh that looks amazing the sky with your freighter it was so sexy looking Could that be a crashed ship? That he? Oh no! There's usually a crashed ship beside them. Um, yeah, these buildings are a very good way of finding crashed ships as well. These building icons, I think. Hey, are you okay, dude? He seems at peace out here, uh, at one with the elements. The grunt and creating, and appar apparently doubting my own endurance skill, freely recharge my life support. <laughs> Enemy Slayer, okay. Oh, he charged my life support. Nice. Is there anything else I can do? I can sit here. There you go. Let's sit together. Oh, we got a horny unicorn or something over there. What is this? Yeah, I'm kind of curious. Give me a second. microprocessor exactly what I needed. No new trees, no. Okay. Oh, that's just a safe point. Okay, fair enough.
debris. Another opinion in which I could play, but Windows sent an update at, that besought my new Aces. What? That's crazy. Oh, what is going on here? What is that? I have no idea what that is. This is crazy. What is this? Oh, it's one of those glowing minerals that we can analyze and open up. And ooh, look at that, 150,000. Very nice. Oh, there's another one and another one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look, we got some other juicy things. The caves look amazingly scary. So this one is marked as debris. Oh, do I already know this tree? Yeah. Oh no, un unidentified. There we go. At some point we will have the whole planet scanned. Oh, we already talked to this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the he's the one we visited already. Yeah. I didn't realize we had this here. That will give us more navigation data. So let's go back home. what else we get we got a herox and we got a magno they're only 25,000 but this one is what we're after the rich alloy crafted from herox dirty bronze or lemon so hang on a second can we put that in here no we turned it into oh that silver was worth more okay I take it Okay, this is worth 25,000. 44,000. Nice. Um, I don't want that to automatically kick off, but what do we get? Oh, void mode. Yeah, what do we get from that? Platinum. Okay. But this is worth a hell of a lot more, 150,000, so we don't want to do anything. We don't want to get rid of that because platinum is worth 505. So if we get 250 from it, times 505, it's 126,000. So it depends on the price somewhere else, I guess. Uh, that could be worth a lot more, but this is worth hell of a lot of money, so...
I didn't do anything. Okay, fine. Might as well now. Okay, actually, let's see if we get the doggies. And if we get the drops we're after. The main is there with the machine gun, basically. I think anything that doesn't fit in my inventory will automatically go into my spaceship because it's close by, I think. Salvage class, nice! Oh shit! Look at that, we have 10 savage class. Oh, that's awesome. Let me put some stuff into my starship. Oh, Azumain is completely destroying. This is gonna be really lo lucrative. That is, oh, oh yes, here's the doggy. You see the way he disappears? And I can't out damage the heals. There we go, we got one healer down. Okay. Yeah, he just disappears, boom. And then he appears again. It's really weird. Projectile ammunition. Okay. What do we have here? So much class. Now we're gonna get walkers, which means we're gonna get brain. I'm gonna do the mining de Oh, let's get the repair drone. Yes. 
I think we get a walk up right now. Did we get one? No, a hard frame engine. That's just as good. This is amazing. A hard frame engine. Stuck. That is a big boy. Stuck inside my base, crap. There we go. Oh wow. Yes, the Walker brain. What else? There we go. That's amazing. Are we gonna hide out as a man? Are we gonna go underground and hide? Oh, there's another walker brain though. to quickly um I need to recharge yes okay I'm gonna hide in my house and hopefully they won't find me. Yeah, so now we can sit it out here, I think. Oh shit, the detective. We have to go underground, I think. Let me go into my mind. If we go underground somewhere, we should be fine. Oh, water, uh, of course. No, crap. Let 
me just run away. And then hide on the ground. Hopefully it won't be water. There we go. Now we should be safe. Unless we have those glitchy... They're four walker brains. Holy shit. They're really good for hunting in. Oh, all of this we can hunt in for exper for leveling up our merchant guilds. That is amazing. I might keep one for crafting. But... Um, yeah, I can't wait to get like... Um, a multi-tool, which is an S-Class multi-tool, purely for damage. That, I can't wait for that. Uh, thank you very much, Azamin, for, for the help, actually. <laughs> now I have to go back and repair my base, I guess. Oh, if they're still angry with you, they might attack again. We'll see. But there's loads to pick up now, I think. But there's still some stuff which I have, oh, I have to repair all that. It's like a war zone over here. That was awesome. That was a lot of fun. I would have died so much quicker. Thank you for um, helping out. Oh, is that another Walker Brain box? No, it's just a floating leftover. Oh, there we go. There's something over there. Repairing your planet, don't be mad with me. Things that explode at night, not my fault. Let's see what's actually in my ship. So. Oh, yes. Look how much we can hand in. That is going to be amazing. That is so cool. And um, let me put all. Oh, oh, shit. What, did, what else did I get? We got a Sentinel boundary map. A strange shifting map. Though hard to focus upon, this chart appears to show the location of a nearby sentinel pillar. Such a sentinel stronghold houses many secrets. I don't think I'm strong enough for that right now. I don't think so. But that is pretty awesome that there was a thing. I think I have to go return to the scientists. Yeah, I think I have everything. And nothing got destroyed, which is absolutely fantastic. In seven days to die, everything would have been destroyed now. Give the marrow bulbs. Give the cobalt. Nice. Oh, your mech auto, did you, oh, your mech, I thought you were controlling your mech, was, oh, yeah, that's right, you can put your mech on defense, isn't it, and he helps you automatically. 
Oh, now I have to find his consciousness. The scientist asked me to take their personality core to the transmission tower. Yes, so I removed the core and now he's kind of down. So Ethereal won't like this, okay? If Ethereal, if you're still watching, I'm sorry. You won't like this now because he's basically asleep, offline, dead, like Data. He's disconnected from the consciousness. A new active mission, scientific research. Visit a transmission tower. Um, active F to target sweep. Oh, it's a long distance over there. Okay. What is the sentinel pillar, um, Azamain? Uh, what's the sentinel pillar? Is that like a big stronghold with a lot of goodies inside? Because if you want to do it, I am more than happy to do it. <laughs> oh, is that it? Hang on a second. Is that a Stargate? That would be awesome if I had one of my planets. I think every planet has one. Oh no, this is different. Uh, and also, unless I'm sick and fall asleep or lose my connection, I watch. Oh, you're crazy! Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, we had to take the Kovax uh, out, consciousness out, pillars of Sophia. Place my palm on the monolith inside the riches. Oh yeah, this is where we can either get a secret or learn words. I, I'm just here for... Oh, reach in? What? Molten rock grabbing in my exit. Time flows. I feel myself burning. There's no release. I'm doomed. I close my eyes when I open them. The edifice is reconstructed. The molten rock solid once more. I felt the hot memory went. No, I was standing decreased again. Why? Oh. Suck. Is that the tower? Yes. Landing. Come on, land. Oh, right beside the poison. Magnetized ferret disposal. Nice. Make it a bit bigger and get faster mining even if you get less resources. fighting.
Um, also, unless I'm, <laughs> we can do that though, I forgot exactly where to find them. Oh, I have a map. Uh, as I mean, sorry, I have a map. <laughs> the alien in the back's like, come at me, bro. Yeah, they kind of go on their hind legs and they go, you want to go, bro? You want to go? Don't appreciate me, of course I do. Oh, I have the map as a man, that's why I was asking. I have the map uh, here, look, it's in my inventory. Uh, I just didn't know what to do with it. gonna finish what I have to do here first I guess um, just the Corvax I don't want to leave the Corvax hanging too much you know so yeah ethereal you don't like this because we basically had to get the, take the Corvax offline and he's kind of lost now stares at me with a hostile fierce eyes that look with disdain at my exosuit still covered with mud and grass from my time on this planet nonetheless the life form bows in greeting tradition and honor perhaps dictate the interloper weapon is pathetic the viking okay so i have a feeling they might be able to give me a multi-tool i don't feel in danger and i'm about to turn and leave when the creature points towards my multi-tool their back was concerned in motion to suggest that i should hand it over I'm gonna hand it over because I think they're gonna help it. They're gonna upgrade it. The warrior nods in satisfaction. They take my multi-tool and examine it, holding it close before tossing it away with a snort. Instead, they offer me an improved replacement multi-tool. Oh. Well, it's a free multi-tool, I guess. Um, it's worth 1.5 million. It's still a C-class. Um, so we can actually scrap it, I guess. Messenger of Levoski. Maybe we keep it because I think multi-tools. Can you upgrade multi-tools as well? No, not Mugi, the Kovacs, uh, the um, seven of nine, basically. Um, can we upgrade? Because then I keep this and try to upgrade it to an S-Class because it looks pretty badass, actually. Ah, look, this has showed us what he had. That is actually pretty cool. We also should check the tables. Sometimes there's like navigational data on the tables. No, okay. So let's do this thing. Um, what, sorry, Northern Opinion, what did you ask? I didn't see your question further. You say, K hey, thanks, what is that? Um, what do you think is best? Oh, sorry, I didn't even see your question because Chuck moved on and I was focused on the fight. My apologies. Um, what do you think is best option? Wait 30 days for security info update or send eight? I have no idea about that. I never had issues with that type of stuff. I, I don't know anything about these things. I'm, I'm a programmer. I know kind of my software a little bit, but anything to do with networks networking and um, b sorts and uh, sorry and uh, bioses i have no clue i if if i ever would have any issues with my bias i would send it to a repair shop and say it's sorted out i i have no clue no idea yeah sorry about that um i i wouldn't know uh to insert Kovacs intelligence coin transmission tower okay hear the judgment um, waiting for the update would be free, but take a little longer. Sending it off would be faster, perhaps, but costs money. 
Do you not have a local repair store or something? I don't know. I have a local repair store here that um, twice I had to put in my my uh, PC. Actually, once. Once it was their fault. I told them to put in my power supply basically was starting to, to die. And I asked them to put the power supply in was the same, like a stronger one. And they said, no, 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 all you need is the same strength. But I was pretty sure I needed a stronger one because since I bought the PC originally, I had the power supply kind of match that hardware. But since then, I got an extra two SSDs inside and, and my graphics card was upgraded to a more powerful one that needed more power. And um, I started getting issues then every now and then. And so I said, you know, I want to be on the safe side, just put it more powerful. And they said, no, you don't need to. And they gave me a new one. It worked for a couple of days and then it died again. I said, listen, it's the same issue again. Can you please put just a 1000 baht power supply in? I don't care if it's if it's too much or not. I don't care. Yeah. And um, they eventually they're like, fine. Can okay, they put in the 1000 power supply and they never had an issue again. So there you go. I always go overpowered. I, I never go underpowered. Like if it says your machine will need 650 watt, I get a thousand. Simple as that. A thousand is the minimum I will go for. Always. Okay, they see you. Okay. Return to the scientist. Okay. Um, so yeah, let, just let me hand this back in um, quickly. And uh, then we can go, I, I read the map at the base. I read the map at my base. Oh, I didn't even see that here. That was kind of a weird positioning. Very weird positioning, but okay. Yeah, that's what I said to Kona before as well. I'm trying to always look at chat, but when I'm in the middle of like things like that, the fights and everything, I just won't see it. And if the question scrolls up, then I, I just miss it. So apologies for that. I need to make a landing station here at some point. Hey, your robot is hovering in the air. I love it. Why does it want me to go here? Oh, I thought it wanted me to read something. Okay, that is terrible. I have a foot in my house. Apologies. So, analyst entity. So, now we're gonna give Corvax his soul back, okay? Ethereal, he's gonna be okay. Analyst entity shell sits in front of me, awaiting reconnection. Reinsert core. Shell reconnection in progress. The scientist is rebooting. So, now we have an hour and a half anyway where we can't do anything with this guy, so. Oh, hey! Um, I can wave back. Hey! Um, why are you waving me? Do you have something new for me? Um, the overseer talks sense as they always do. There's little reason to wait here when there's so much to do. Okay. Okay. Now, um, let's do the thing. See what happens. He looked so dead, yeah. He's rebooting now. So where are we going? Is it on this planet? Hopefully it is. It is. Let's see what this is all about. Let's see what this is all about. Where's my ship?
shit, that looks angry. <laughs> what is this? Oh man, yeah, let me save everything here first. Um, I think we can break into that or something, isn't it? I have no idea. You only live once, I guess. Let's do it. Oh, we have to kill those, harvestable sentinel technology, and oh my god, there's a walker here as well. Um, sentinel pillar access node. Okay, let's try it the peaceful way, I guess. Boundary no node, bar archive, access log, shut down sentinel forces. Extract weapons technology? Yes. Oh my god, we're gonna get another? Can we even have one now? That is awesome. Okay, the sentinels are offline, and I actually have not the right multitude in that. So, what now, Azamain? Are we going to kill those pods to um, see what's in them? What is that big ass building over there? Oh, that's a port. Yeah, shoot, let's, let's do it. Let's see what's in here. Actually, let me do a save first, just in case. Got salvaged glass in this one. The nanites. Got more nanites and salvaged glass. So what about this big boy in the middle here? I don't think this can be killed. And that was it. So, oh, there's actually something here. Salvage class. So because we disabled them, we didn't have to worry about fighting the guys, I guess. So now you can enable them again, I guess, if you want. And then we can... we should see the walker again. Oh! This one just exploded by itself. Okay, cool. Well, that seems to have been the smart way of doing it, so we didn't have to fight anything, and we still... Um... Oh, I got a convergence cube. Device used by the Corvax for the storage of historical and cultural information. Oh, I'm gonna give that to the Corvax, I guess. Is that the equivalent of... Um, to give them that for... Um, what you call it? Um, get their rep reputation up? Just disabled all the sentinels on the planet. Nice! That is awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna check out this, um, this station here. Ow.
Oh, nice. Here we can actually buy things. Yeah, that's right. We can. What can we buy here in navigation? Oh, there we go. Donate. Why can I not donate things? I don't have them. Okay. Get a free Walker brain. Okay. And now we can donate the Walker brain. Awesome. So let me just get some stuff from my ship. From my ship, I want to get the glass, the servos, this, and more walker brain and see how much I can donate. Okay, three of those. Three of those. We're journeymen now. And one more walker brain and two hard frames. We're now associates. Ooh, look at that. Associate means we need one more so the next one is master i guess and then exalted so master means we can get the expansion slots <laughs> local information repository what is that print charts oh that way we can get some random charts um yeah yeah so which could give us a crash site if we're lucky i guess and this one is the technology merchant purchase blueprints oh we need Viking rank three to get the membrane that's very good for underwater stuff already got all these um, already known already known so this is the only one I don't know yet what else do you have um, purchase components oh you have salvage data thank you So, talking to the Vikings, sometimes you can get their reputation items that you can buy from them. Yes! Oh no, that's the dagger. Less than Roman Empire, traditional culture. That's different. I think it's different. Viking effigy, there you go. Get all five. And now I can um, recruit life from to squad room. What? I don't have yeah okay pilot make an offer on the starship so that's very good so now we can just basically raise our reputation with those guys by simply just giving them all these effigies which means you don't have to worry too much about being nice um, offer a gift go another gift number three number three And number three, and then one more time, I think, and then we can buy that membrane blueprint as well. I think that's it. I um, don't think we have any more than that. No. Put that on the ship. And that's for the core vaccine. Yes. So let me back to this guy now and see if we can buy that last blast last blueprint. Yeah. Yep. But I don't want it as a quest, so we're going to take this quest and we'll put it away and pin. There we go. Okay, so this one has an hour cooldown. Expanding the base search an abandoned building for data. Find the terminal within the building. The overseer will be able to translate this into a new blueprint. Oh, okay. Construct a storage container. Um. Uh, 
as abandoned drifting starship was broadcasting a strange message. Oh yeah, that was the thing we found in the anomaly. Uh. So we were kind of in hyperflight and or whatever in, in warp drive and in the miscellaneum network, in the mycelium network, whatever it's called. And um, we got interrupted mid-flight by this weird ship. And then we have complete Nexus missions that's ongoing. We can just level this up. And here we have exploration guides. Okay, yeah, that's on a different planet. Don't care. So expanding the base would be the next logical thing. And here I think we have an archive, a library. We can access and we can learn a word or something, is it? Um, pathetic. That's the only word we know. Granted. Oh, look at that. Decrypt archive. Nice. What do we get? Okay, so now where to next? Warrior Kicks, new title I love. Nice. Um, but search an abandoned building for data. Find a terminal was in the building. Okay, where is it? Where's that quest? It's on the base, so there is no quest marker. Expanding the base, search an abandoned building. Um, okay. Alert. Navigational data received. Oh, there, it actually has something here. Okay. Great, it found actually a building. Alien, haha, <laughs> alien things. Okay, awesome. Don't do the touches on the balls. <laughs> oh, but there's something nice. Hang on. Scary looking. User identified terminal active access schematics. The place the overseer has led me to 
has long since fallen into disrepair. Its panels are buried beneath the same oily pulsating fauna that have seen before in the long abandoned building. He asks for teat damp. I power up the terminal with little hope of success, but to my surprise, it buzzes noisily and springs to life. Analyze schematics. My overseer's intuition has served me well so far. I shall have to trust these schematics contain the required data. You are gross. Gross. Yes, we have to come back home. So, are we gonna steal one? Are you gonna steal an egg before we leave? back it takes it back actually with two players you have a nice destruction ah the bastard they take the eggs back He flung me in the air, the little bastard. Nice. I think we can leave. We have all the balls, I think. Here, do you want half? Do you want ten? Actually, can I do something with them in here? I wonder. Oof! Oh my god, look at this! They're worth nanites? Hell yeah! <laughs> that is awesome! Um, Azamain, can I give 10 to you? There you go. You can turn them into nanites. I didn't know that they turned into nanites. That is so awesome. I have 4,700 nanites now, which is so cool. So I will be chasing these guys down. So from the whole thing, if you get seven with 350, that's 35. That means you get 70 per ball. 
that means for 10 it's no hang on what am i missing here seven times five yes yeah, so you get 50 per ball so that means you get 500 nanites for 10 you can collect about 20 here that is amazing and i'm assuming every time you reload if you save and reload here after you've done it uh you they all respawn that is so cool i think we got all of the balls there's any left. I think three were taken back by the aliens. Yeah, I don't think there's any left. Oh, there's actually on this side here. There's three more. I think that's it. Oh, I got another seven. That is so cool. That was quick. And there we go. Nice. Look at that. We have 5,100 nines now. Sweet AF. There you go. I learned something new today. I didn't even know that that was a thing. Where's my ship? Where's my ship? Where's my ship? And here. So we could have gotten nearly 30 of them. That is crazy. That's 1,500 nanites. And I'm pretty sure if I save here and reload, it respawns these. Actually, they should respawn when you get out of a rendering range, similar to the uh, mold wall farm. That is crazy. We have to bring back the overseer data. I think we bring it back to 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 our little Ferengi. The main is so much faster than me. Ow! But can he hit a tree in style like me? That's the question. Is there any way I can get rid of this? No, I have to reload the game, I guess. Um, yeah, let's talk to our scientist. Uh, sorry, to our... Look at our body. You're back, I'm glad, friend. We we'll instruct the storage blueprint. It's good to see. Yeah, that's actually really good. I already have it, though. So does that mean I get a blueprint? Oh, we got all the containers. Nice, that saves me so many points. I forgot about that. So now, the overseer has more stuff? What, do you, what else do you have? Okay, he doesn't have anything yet. Okay. Expanding the base. Return to the overseer. I'm, yeah, I did. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to have this dude finish first. Is he still rebooting? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can actually... Um, 
Yeah, let me reload, actually. That would be a good idea. Yeah, that was awesome. Thank you so much for your help, Azumain, with, with all the crazy um, sentinels. That was really, really cool. Because now I can use that to just hand over all the resources like to the different uh, people in the guilds and just hand it all in, which is great. Um, that's for the core box. So what I might do is I put I can put some storage here on this side for now, yeah. And the good thing is I think you can resize the storage, which is awesome. So you can actually make them all very tiny. So you can only build one version of it, but I think we can scale it with R and F. Oh, part cannot be resized. Oh shit. Let me just go first person here. So the good thing is, as far as I understand, if anybody who doesn't know this yet, as far as I understand, this is shared storage. I can build in every base a zero, a one, a two, a three, a four, and I can build the same on my freighter. But whatever I put in the storage zero will be in storage zero, no matter where on, in the universe I have a storage zero. So it's like basically uh, the equivalent of an ender chest in, in Minecraft, I think. So now we have to build out here so we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then where do we put number nine? It's weird that we have exactly that much. Anyway, so now it needs power. So what I'm gonna do is I have to put a power pylon here somewhere in the set in the room. Is there something like a power pylon? Do we have any lights? A bio lantern? Oh, that's glass, organic glass. Oh, yeah, here. Nice. Cup stick light. I think that will just give us light. Oh, it's always out power, I'm not sure. Can I just power my base, actually? No, that's not my base, that's the storage container. Oh, they should actually connect to each other as well. We might need more batteries. <laughs> oh, we need magnetized ferrite, okay. 
I thought I <coughs> mined some, excuse me. <coughs> Where did we use that all up? Was the storage that took all the magnetized ferrite as well? Yes, it did. Okay, so actually, yeah, 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 that makes sense. Okay, let's get some ferrite. Pure ferrite is always good. the joint hang out a bit. Yeah, absolutely. No, I always appreciate that. That's really awesome. Sources this way. Um, pure ferrite. It. What? How? How did I lose it? How did I lose the magnetized ferrite? That's crazy. Oh wow, that backfired. destroyed too early. Excellent. Okay. 
Oh, it went into here. I put it in the wrong... <laughs> I put it in the wrong slot. That's what happened. I'm an idiot. Uh... <laughs> okay, so now... I forgot what we were actually working on. Um, shit, I forgot what we were building. What do we need magnetized ferret for? Insufficient power? What are you talking about? batteries in here oh that's a biofuel reactor batteries here um, Oh no, they're floating in the air. Ah, for Pete's sake, why are they floating in the air? Oh, because of all the cables, of course. Oh, damn it. What the hell am I doing? What? Completely the wrong way around. I'm an idiot. There we go. Yeah, this could be put a little bit back. Okay, so cables. Lights here. Good. All right. Um, storage. Let's see. What what can we put in here that we don't need as often? Um, navigational data we always need. We actually need that a lot as well. I 
I'm not going to need marrow bulbs. We can put them into a different container. Um, this we need. Uh, all these things I'm going to keep in here, actually, except the marrow bulbs. This one we can actually sell. I have no idea what that is. I just found that at some point. Okay, so these things we're gonna put in here because I'm gonna trade them if possible. And this one we're gonna sell. Things are going well, but I, it will not be long before violence follows us. If I had some microprocessors, I could still march, still march on fate. Um, okay. I have a microprocessor. Can I get them from the storage? Oh, I thought I could access storage <laughs> from here. I think you can only uh, access storage on the freighter from your inventory. So, microprocessors, here we go. And now he gives us the weapon terminal. Nice. Yes, that's awesome. Blueprint, beautiful. So now we get the weapons terminal and we can put that here, I guess. No, actually, I don't want it here. I want to move it here because I might want to put a door there or something. Expanding the base, acquire Punjium. Now we need to hire a Viking. There's another matter. I gave you the means to create weapons terminal, did I not? Yet I see no Viking in attendance. Okay, I'm sorry. He's a very bossy one. Get a shield module. Um, I think we could. Oh, I can't move things around now. But I technically can. Yeah, I can. I can. Oh, I thought they would connect the shield module. I thought it would connect to this. For health? It doesn't connect to anything. Yeah, that's crazy. Hmm, okay. I thought it would connect to one of these.
Okay, let's go. Going to a Viking station. Current system is a, is a Viking, so fine there. And it also means I can trade more stuff into the merchant guild. Sell some stuff. Um, let me see. Ready to receive presents. Donate. We're still an associate. Donate. Oh, we're now a senior. Look at that. Very nice. Oh yeah, I forgot to sell that. to them but may oh there's actually a Corvax which is good I want to see if that cube is actually a present for the Corvax no that oh Corvax casing okay okay I can't hire him Hire an armorer. Yeah. Oh, I thought there he was. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to go to a different planet. Yeah, after that, we're going to leave this here. Um, this game is really awesome. If you haven't played it yet and you don't know if you want to get it or not, definitely go ahead and get it. It's absolutely fantastic. There's so much to do in this game. Like, I'm just following one of the quest lines, but um, there's many others. Ah, here we go. We can hire him. Oh, weapon terminal. Yeah, except excellent. And look, he's purple, ethereal. He's purple. That suits you. <laughs> um, I think we got the space suit here already. Yeah. And we can go back to our base.
Actually, we did a lot of progress today. We, we um, got our overseer done. We got the three stations done. Uh, we got them fully manned. And we started storage. Yeah, so this is a very small base, of course. Yeah, so this is nothing good to look at right now. But eventually this will grow. So we have, for example, the these guys here. We're going to make a battery room at some point. So I'm going to have to figure out if there's actually something I can get where we make... Um, I can always cheat, not cheat, but what I can do is, what I would like to see is like an electrical kind of, you know the way in Seven Days to Die you have like a, a piece where you can just help to put wires along? What I would like to do is basically have a piece in the middle that everything connects to, and um, then I would like to have a piece that kind of connects to everything else, because even though the cables are hidden, I don't like the idea of all these 20 billion connections you know so it would be good to have a central item here maybe a light on the wall that you connect power to and then from that light you connect power to all the storages nearby yeah so that way at least you know you have a single point here so that if we take one of these away and we lose the connection to the light we just have to put one line into here instead of having all these lines connecting to all the storages again you know what i mean so it would be nice to organize it a little bit like that if you saw <laughs> if you saw if I saw your hair i would understand okay i get it and here's our buddy look at this here's even purple eyes accept the gift what did we get Okay, he has a quest for us. I learned the way can believe okay, the armor gives me the location of a nearby weapons factory. Holy shit. The eye of the sentinels will be upon the facility. Okay, that's fine. Um, movement module. I don't have any more slots, so we definitely have to get more. Um, can I? I don't know. Can you? Can I do it? What can I do actually, Monsieur? Bow and leave. Okay. That's it. Um, yeah, these guys will just keep giving me quests. So I have now a quest from him for the weapons research. Yeah. So we're gonna do that next time. Use a bolt caster to destroy locked doors. Now I have my own way of doing destroying locked doors. So I'm gonna leave this one here. And um, yeah, like I said, I think we did good progress here. Really nice. Um, and we're gonna go after this uh, station next time. And then I think once we finish with that part, well, finished, then we can always take more quests. But once we finish with that part, actually, what I want to do is. Let me go into space. I have so much salvage data and see if I can uh, buy something. Oh, incoming message, what? Oh, it's Apollo, how's the base? Make sure you hire a few staff with it. Uh, what are units for if not to assert dominance over your fellow life forms? Yes. But one, two, more, one more important thing, if you're going to work with me, your equipment needs to be in good condition. You can't have you dying out there. Not yet, at least. You can find nanite clusters scattered in abandoned buildings and other damaged machines. Ironic. Really, the same structures the Sentinels destroyed will lead to their death. Trade these nanite clusters with merchants and space stations to get the technology you need. Nice. Oh, and one last thing. Take this personal force field blueprint. You're going to need it. Consider it a gift in my little investment to our partnership. Nice. Awesome. Oh. So, but before we do any of that, we're going to go back here. And first of all, we're going to... Pow. Only live once, exactly, yeah. Okay, 
I have so many nanites right now. Also need to upload our data if we can. I think I have some new data. Nice, another look at that 450. Nice. Yeah, let me actually, before I forget it, let me take apart the. Um, Oh, because I keep forgetting it. Um, we have room, yeah. Let me take apart the um, tools. Okay, so let's select the right one. We want to take apart, not the stinger, but this one. Two hundred and six thousand. Yeah. We're gonna take apart this one as well. Okay, this is not the. Oh, yes, because we get the Sentinel weapon shots from them as well. That is awesome. More nanites for us. Cool. And um, we're gonna keep. Actually, you know, that's a C module. We're gonna sell all of them. C modules. Uh, suck and now we have two more oh yeah we have two of those um, this is the one we got for free how much is that worth um, that one is the C class that we currently have equipped yeah we but that one looks really awesome What's the other one here? Nope. It's also a C-class. Um, we can sell one of them because they kind. Of, yeah, this one here has less uh, things, so we're gonna sell that. Four hundred thirty thousand units. Very good. Excellent. And now we have one left of each. Excellent. This is the one I'm currently cleaning up, actually. Um, what do we have left here? Yeah, we need a crystallized heart. We need two crystallized hearts to free these slots up. And look, I already got two supercharged slots, which is amazing. And this one is a B-class. That's why I kept it. Um, yeah. Starship, exosuit. So yeah, we're gonna sell all this and we're gonna get rid of all this. Very good. Okay. Now let's quickly see if there's any. Um... Okay. Um... Construction. Large prefabs. We have the cylindrical room. We have. We could get the square room and corridors. Actually, let's get the corridors. And I like the hollow door as well. That actually looks really awesome. And an access ramp. Oh, we could like build like a really nice base with um, the cylindrical room. But yeah, let me look at power first. Um, any more things with power oh man the galactic trade terminal at home would be handy but with the old landing pad that would be really good so many things I want medium refiner oh we already have access to the large refiner that's crazy. I didn't realize that. Wait. 
space initiator? Wow, okay. It says deep water, but we haven't really found much deep water in this game so far. Not in this playthrough in general. So we have some lights here, which is nice, some light options. Here we go. The wall switch. Oh, yes. That's nice. We can use that as a power switch. And then we have floor switch, so we can step on it, which opens the door. The proximity switch. Yeah, we, we should get all of these. And then we need a mineral extractor. That's when we're gonna get all the copper stuff. Gas extract supply pipe. So yeah, we're not gonna do this now. We're gonna save up for that. Electromagnetic generator. This is where we get loads of powers. In the moment we're okay with power, so we're fine. This is for when we want to start farming. Oof. Okay. Let's see, is there any more? We need triangular walls actually. Reinforced timber module confirms the structures rock and cloth. This could be for walls, I guess. They're good for indoors, these th th thin walls in the doorways. Here we go, triangular walls. I'm gonna spend all my points on all these things. Um, we already got that. And we can spend all the nanites here on these things now. Now, here we're gonna have the resources. So we have the glass in the living class, unstable jail. So I don't know what I need from here first, but, um, oh, geocide. We can make that from dirty Bronx Herox. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, so we can craft the shitty ones into better ones. Yeah, so I don't know what we need exactly from here yet. So I'm gonna leave this alone. Let's take a look at the pair of and fix myself, it's crazy. <laughs> and now 
I can go to um, let's see merchant fledge and Kovacs economy mercantile I don't know what mercantile means economy technology up unpromising research declining adequate high voltage Fletchling. What is fletchling? Comfortable. Power generation comfortable. Uh, we might as well stay in the current system. Now I can sell all the stuff for the motor tools, make some the kit make some cash. There we go. And the cogs. And I think that's it. Really. That's all the items we got. And then we want to make some nanites from the equipments. There we go, we're back to 5,200. Love it. So this multi-tool here... million is a lot. Yeah, we don't need this. Oh, can we upgrade? Uh, that's what I wanted to see. Can We can upgrade with nanites, the actual class, I think. Let me see. How much would that cost us? Upgrade class, 10,000 nanites. Okay, so that would upgrade it from a C to a B. Um, how much would it cost from a B to an A? Let me see. From a, this is a B, so from a B to an A would be 25,000 nanites. Jeez. Okay, um, so I'm assuming it's going to be 50,000 nanites then from, to an S class. Okay. Okay, sometimes randomly can loot one of those containers. Awesome. Okay. Can we hand in more stuff? We're still senior. Can get this. Donate that. Oh, look at this multi tools. Can't wait to be a master. Yeah, this is something I really like this whole increase in guilds. So now we can do this. When you have a symmetrical starship, it would be nice. Uh, you can make it all fancy. Um, oh, you mean like a frigate? You're talking about the big frigate thing. A to S is 50k, yeah. Yeah, so, so far, I think the best way to make nanites was to go to one of those. Well, if we find them, to go to one of those lava balls. Holy shit. We would have made... 1,500 um, from one visit. Okay, why do you have such a terrible hitbox? Oh my god, your hitbox just sucks ass. There we go. Um, let's buy one of those. Oh, we're still senior. Oh, master! There we go, we're master now. Yes! There we go. Free expansion tool. I'm not gonna get this right now because um, I can get it whenever, um, now that we're master. But it means if I go to another area where 
their self exosuit tools potentially we can get that for free so if I go to say Ninja Prime Yeah, Runaway Mold is like, what, 20 or something? Per, per 10 craft or something? So you have to, yeah, uh, the Runaway Mold farm, the, that's gonna be fun to make. So let's actually see. What do you have? You have a sent, oh look, they have a sentinel boundary map. That is awesome. And they have more died. Uh, you can't buy what you can't redeem, but you can donate still. There we go. So that one doesn't have an upgrade. So let's quickly go. So this one, are they in the order that I was using them? I think so. So the last one is the one I was the least recent one. Yeah, so 999 mold equals 2,000 nanites, yeah. So, but, but, what I think is also really, really good is um, once you have the strength is shooting the crap out of sentinels and getting the glass because if you open the glass there's a, high, there's a chance to get um, actually the pirate system. This is what we're going to do next time. We're going to find the pirate system and we're going to go there and we have a lot of money what you can do is you can buy items that can convert, I think, into nana, into upgrades. You know the these type of pirate upgrades, and uh, by doing that, you can get thousands of nana. It's much quicker because you buy them as units and you turn them basically into nana. Okay, donate. to the other one in the back. Yes, so they're in the order least visited. So we're gonna go here until we get back to Egil Prime. That means we have gone through all of them. And that way we can be sure if if they if we don't find an exosuit or spaceship um, exp ex augmentation to the um, piece, then it doesn't exist yet. We have to wait until we find it in another galaxy. Okay, face beam module, more died. Okay, we still master. So the Gek sell the map, the Vikings sell that. Um, no, it doesn't matter if it's what race it is. I think it's more the, the, the station, the, the system you're in. It's just random, I guess. And once the system is the way it is, I don't think they ever sell anything different then. You have to find a new system. Oh, look at these purple lights. That, that would be your home station, I think. Um, Yeah, here's also Sentinel map. Um, oh, we have none left. Oh shit! Do I give them all away? I think we did. Oh, they're already all gone. Ah well. That's a very nice station, isn't it? Very lovely lights. So, so far the last, um, yeah, so we have one more system and then after that we're back to the first system. So we only have one system so far that sells any expansion slots uh, for the multi-tool, which is good. Which is 
Scott, so we can basically very quickly get all the multi all the multi tool slots for free that we want. You have also a multi-tool. Okay, so we have two people with multi-tool um, expansion slots. Okay. Well, might as well get it. Because it's free. So why not? Um, this costs 130 nights, yeah, so that, that we won't be saving anything there. All right. That is it. I'm gonna leave it here. Listen guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you watch this video afterwards, I hope you found something new, especially if you're new to the game. And um, next time when we're back, we try to actually do the pirate thing. I don't think there's a prerequisite with the pirates. I'm gonna have to look it up. If there isn't, we're gonna see if we can start finding the pirate systems. And um, then we can try to get those um, blueprints that are worth like three four hundred nanites each and we get them much easier then so yeah and as i mean uh, kona as well just you know whenever i'm streaming and you guys are online absolutely pop in and, uh, oh there you go another much tool and no brain okay fair enough anyway Thank you very much. Have a good night. If you could leave a like on the way out, we appreciate it. And I see you guys um, tomorrow. And we'll see what we're going to do. I'm not sure. I'm kind of addicted to this right now and in Shrouded. So we're probably going to ping pong between the two. But we'll see what I'm in the mood for tomorrow. So have a good night. Stay safe. Bye bye. Oh, crap. I nearly clicked the wrong button. <laughs>